Which is your favourite supercar, from vintage to modern? We know the entire scene has changed a lot. Here are a few cars that would really, really take you back to your car obsession. 10. Bellino CB7R is a revolutionary ride from the lesser known Canadian company, Bellino. It's like riding a triumphant motorcycle on the streets. It's not like any other fancy car you've seen. Way back in 2020, at a big car show in Canada, folks laid eyes on the Bellino CB7R for the first time. Now, it gives you two engine options. One's a real powerhouse, packing five 525 horsepower from a 6.2 litre engine. With the Felino CB7R, you've got two engine choices. One's a 6.2 litre engine that blasts out 525 horsepower. The other's even wider, a 7 litre turbo beast pumping out a massive 700 horsepower. And the juicy part is, there are no turbochargers needed. These cars are all about speed. They can go from 0 to 62 miles per hour in just 2.9 seconds. And when it comes to top speeds, the CB7R can hit either 202 miles per hour or 214 miles per hour, depending on which engine you pick up. Now, the real surprise is that they only made 10 of these cool cars, and they'll set you back about $275,000 each. 9. Resvani Beast Alpha X Blackbird Rani introduced the Beast Alpha X Blackbird. It's all about pure power and performance. Its top-of-the-line supercar gives you an unbeatable driving thrill with its fierce yet classy design. You can customise it like no other. Let's talk about the Alpha X Blackbird's cool features. It's got a wide, curvy front, a rooftop you can take off, big air vents, and those awesome sidewinder doors. The Alpha X Blackbird comes with a powerful engine, a 2.5 litre turbocharged four-cylinder. Plus, it's got a cool six-speed manual transmission that pumps out a whopping 700 horsepower. This supercar is super light, weighing only 2,150 pounds, thanks to carbon fibre parts borrowed from planes and Formula One cars. That means it can hit 60 miles per hour in just 2.9 seconds. It's priced at $225,000. The Alpha X Blackbird is only for nine lucky people. It's made by a cool Swiss startup. 8. Picasso 660 LMS Picasso Automotive, founded by Stefano Picasso and Robert Wilde back in 2020, just renamed their first car. They the PS01 prototype to Picasso 660 LMS. It's a supercar with a carbon fiber body and no metal framework, making it super light at just £2,160. This car rocks a sweet 3-litre twin-turbo V6 engine from Autot Technica Motors. And get this, it cranks out a whopping 660 horsepower and 541 pounds via torque. On top of that, it's got a smooth six-speed sequential gearbox. They're only making 21 of these awesome rides. Their starting price for this supercar is $860,000, not including taxes. 7. Delage D12. With its sleek F1 racing-inspired design, it's ready to shake up the hypercar world, taking on big names like Bugatti and Pagani. This cool car has a hybrid engine, mixing a 7.6-litre V12 with an electric motor. They offer two versions, the GT and the Club. Well, the GT version is crazy powerful, packing a whopping 1,000 and 114 horsepower. It's like a beast on wheels. Okay, now let's talk about the club version. It's also really cool, pumping out 1,240 horsepower. And here's the kicker. It can go from 0 to 62 miles per hour in just 2.6 seconds. Now, let's switch gears and talk about the GT version. It can hit a mind-blowing top speed of 233 miles per hour. These cars are seriously fast. Even though it costs a hefty $2.3 million each, everyone's itching to get one. Delage is planning to make more because so many people want it. There are only 30 of these awesome cars available and two of them are already claimed. 6. Aria FXE The Aria FXW, made by the American company Aria Group, they showed it off in the 2017 LA Auto Show as their first ever car for sale and it packed a punch with 1,150 horsepower. They've put together a 720 horsepower V8 engine with a 540 horsepower electric motor and it's powered by a 10 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery. With a whopping 1,316 pound feet of torque, this baby can hit 60 miles per hour in just 2 point nine seconds. Plus, they designed this car to reach a crazy top speed of 220 miles per hour, all thanks to its super light carbon fiber body and clever air intakes, but it's not in full production just yet. 5. Kimura Evo 37 The Kimura Evo 37 is kind of a, like a new updated version of the old Lancia 037 rally car from the 80s. It's like taking something old and making it cool again in a whole new way. It's got that old school charm, but with all the latest high tech stuff under the hood. The Evo 37 has a powerful 2.1 litre four cylinder engine with both supercharging and turbocharging. So get ready for some serious roaring. This beast is a real powerhouse, pushing out more than 500 horsepower and 460 pound feet at all. And it doesn't stop there. All that power flows smoothly to the rear wheels thanks to its fancy six-speed manual transmission. The person behind this powerful engine is Clavio Lombardini, who has also helped create the original Lancia 037 race car. And Camaro is only making 37 of the Evo 37 units. So they're super exclusive. They've already sold 26 of these cars, 
starting at $520,000 each. But the last nine, they've raised the price to $585,000. Why? Because they've added cool features that used to be optional, making it an even better deal. For Delara Stradale EXP. Delara Stradale EXP is John Pau Delara's latest creation, drawing on his years of experience in the automotive world. He's known for his work on both commercial vehicles and racing cars. And guess what? It hits the scene in 2021. The EXP is like the track-only version of the Stradle. It rocks the same 2.3-litre four-cylinder the EcoBoost engine from Ford as the regular one. But get this, it pumps out a cool 492 horsepower and 516 pound-feet of torque. Compared to the base model, this one's got an extra 97 horsepower and 147 pound-feet of torque. Plus, it's got a six-speed sequential gearbox and sends power to the rear wheels. And here's the cool part. It's super light at just 1,962 pounds, giving it an awesome power-to-weight ratio. Oh, since it doesn't have a roof, can hit a top speed of 180 miles per hour. Three, Celine S1. Remember the 2017 LA Auto Show. That's where Celine unveiled their first car since they stopped making the famous S7 in 2009. And get this, it's pretty lightweight sports car, tipping the scales at around 2,685 pounds. Because of its carbon fiber body and aluminum frame, this car is super light, and here's the cool part. It's powered by a neat 2.5 litre turbocharged four-cylinder engine made by Celine. This baby churns out 450 horsepower and 350 pound-feet at all. It can hit 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 3.5 seconds and reach a top speed of 180 miles per hour. You can snag one for a cool $100,000 before taxes. Two, Prato Orage. It might not be a household name, it's still pretty awesome, even if it's not super well known. It's a fancy car customizer from France, known for its top notch wine and cheese. After several years of hard work, the French car company finally revealed their masterpiece in 2017. This car has the most powerful V8 engine ever and is all natural, no turbochargers. This beastly 8.1 litre engine pumps out a mind-blowing 888 horsepower and 738 pound-feet of torque. It can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 2.7 seconds. It's built on the C6 Corvette base. You can still see some signs of its origin in the interior design. What's really special about it is that it's one of the first to use OLED technology and gold aerospace grade electronics. It's only made in limited numbers and it's not cheap. It will set you back around $970,000. Number one, Velex Fungio. Even though they're not a big name in making cars, people in British motorsport know them well. They've been around for a while as a racing team, especially known for their skills in endurance races. It's not a pumped-up version of the Ferrari F12 TDF. They've made some tweaks to make it even more awesome. It's got that classic Italian supercar feel, just like the F12 TDF. It runs on a powerful 6.3-litre V12 engine, just like the F12. But get this, while the F12 pumps out 780 horsepower and 520 pound-feet of torque, Fonio Geo takes it up a notch with a huge 800 horsepower power. And guess what? It's got a slick 7-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission to make the ride even smoother. The car will soon come in both road and truck versions, and V is getting back into racing after 18 years. So, which one did you like from the list? We're eager to know, so share it in the comment section, and don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you like the video.